Today, I have the pleasure of speaking with Anthony Marchese from Texas Rare Earth Resources. How are you today, Anthony? Doing fine, Tracy. How are you? I'm so delighted to be discussing with you your most recent news release, which was uh, really a substantial announcement for the overall industry. Are you not the first rare earth company to have a deal with the uh, uh, U.S. Defense Logistics, or isn't this, is this not the Department of Defense? Well, the, as the press release pointed out, the DLA is part of the Department of Defense. They uh, are responsible for this particular division which gave us the contract is uh, responsible for the stockpiling of uh, rare earths. The government has their own program of stockpiling. They pick out which ones they want. They uh, gave us the contract. Yeah, to the best of my knowledge, this is the first time the United States has ever given anybody a contract to produce anything. I know in the past they've given uh, small contracts for research into uh, study uh, of the market. But in terms of production, this is, I believe, the first of its kind. Well, can you give us the 10-story the vantage point on this deal? Because I know Jack was trying to explain how much bigger this is, and, uh, but I'd like to hear it from you because we have, of course, the CEO here on, the, uh, on this interview. Well, the, uh, obviously the terms of the agreement are exactly what's in the press release. So I have to be careful about what I say due to confidentiality. But as the uh, press release stated, uh, the DLA is interested in uh, bench scale quantities of certain rare earths. Uh, they've mentioned two yttrium uh, at a, an ultra high purity uh, level, five uh, nines or better, and yttrium, uh, which they're looking for a standard four nines. They also uh, are interested in a third, which at their request we're not uh, disclosing, and that's also at a, an ultra high purity. I don't think people quite um, take into account or appreciate the ultra high purity nature of two of those three. Uh, ultra high purity products sell anywhere from three to five times the market price. So for example, Yttrium today, if you could produce it at a five or six nines, would trade at roughly three to four times the market price. So for us, there's an opportunity not just to show the DLA, obviously the Defense Department by extension, that we could do this. But secondly, it adds a new dimension to our um, economics because uh, we could go out and sell a certain portion of our output uh, at a significantly higher price than that quoted in you know, metal pages or the Chinese internal market. So it's significant on, on two levels. Anthony, according to my conversation with Jack, he, what he was really stressing about this news release was kind of like an acknowledgement from the government for your extraction technology. So can you talk to us just a little bit more and give the Investor Intel audience an overview about the K-Technologies uh, and Texas Rare Earth extraction technology process? Because Jack seems to be a very strong enthusiast and supporter of this. All right, well, good question, uh, Tracy. First, I want to emphasize, like any extraction technology, there is no one size fits all. You know, this technology um, works very well with our particular deposit. And as you've seen from uh, a prior press release, we've uh, formed a joint venture with K-Tech to market this technology to others. But again, I want to emphasize that there's no such thing as one size fits all. I'm not a big believer in the premise of a central processing facility in the United States because each deposit has, has its own unique characteristics. But in terms of the KTEC process, one of the benefits of the process that this is a refinement of a process that started back in the 1940s. The Manhattan Project was actually uh, the uh, genesis of ion exchange, ion uh, uh, chromatography. And this is just a further refinement of that process. So this is not a new process. This, this process is a refinement of a 70 or 65 year old uh, process. One of the beauties of this process is that it allows you to create ultra high purity products. Today, the way you create ultra high purity products in the five or six nines is by uh, going to traditional solvent extraction 
and then going to an ion exchange. We're doing it all at one time at a very uh, economical cost. Okay, so in addition to the, uh, the contract with the DLA, it seems to me that this particular technology might be very, uh, very useful in, uh, say, recycling electronic waste. Is that correct? That's correct. Our agreement with the uh, DLA uh, doesn't uh, prevent us from using this uh, technology, the KTEC uh, technology, in other applications or, in, uh, frankly, in other rare earth projects. So the answer is we've looked at recycling, we've looked at any number of things. But what I want to emphasize to uh, our investor base, especially, and to our audience, is that we are first and foremost a rare earth company. Our byproducts, strategy is to sign offtake agreements similar to our uranium strategy and as far as recycling while we've looked at it we think that's further down the road the first thing we want to do is get into production and then worry about recycling prove to the market that you do one thing really well and i think opportunities flow from those accomplishments so one more question for you, Anthony. What should we as shareholders of Texas Rare Earth Resources expect next? Because uh, I know you have a great team. You have some of the senior players in the entire rare earth industry on your board. Uh, what should we anticipate over the next couple of quarters, or can you speak to that? Sure, absolutely. Um, and we've said this publicly. You can expect, obviously, the uh, completion of the uh, DLA contract. We have 90 days to complete that, so you'll hear news about that. You'll hear news uh, about potential uh, uh, deals that we have brewing with our joint venture partner, KTEC. Uh, we, as we've always said, we're in discussions with potential strategic partners for uh, financing our uh, project. You could potentially hear something about that. We'll have further metallurgical news. So um, we will have a, a fair amount of news to report over the next 90 to 120 days. Well, excellent. Thank you so much for joining us again today, Anthony. Looking forward to it.